from the park. Frankie, say hey. Hey. All right. Checking out a brand new honey badger. Limited edition. Yeah, Frankie, this one's limited edition. Yes. We'll talk about it, but it's only available through Blade HQ. Mm -hmm. All right, honey badger videos, honey badger knives. We've done our share. We have a fair share of them also. Yeah, and we were just talking before we started filming. We're missing one or two. <laughs> we are. We're like, wait a second. We have an orange one. We have a claw one. Yeah. Yeah. We, we forgot some of them. We have a couple. We like them. Yes. Yeah. Short story is we like them. <laughs> okay, but they've been around for, I want to say, something like three years right yeah, now. Yeah, a couple to a few years or so. Yeah. Right, yeah. And they started out... 30 to 40 dollar range yeah and then you guys can you recognize these ones we've had these ones on the channel a few times yeah and there you go small medium large yes yep. three different sizes three different pleasures something like five different blade shapes yes there is yeah you got a drop point a tanto the leaf shape the worn cleaver the claw and the hook yep i think that's it i think so yeah but that's i, I say that's it that's a decent that's amount. a lot yeah, yeah. all right well, the limited edition that we're talking about today is a medium, mm -hmm. and it's a tanto. Yes, a black finished tanto. Yeah, there it is. It's more of a subtle tanto, but I mm -hmm. love this blade shape. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it is one that I love. Yes. Yeah, this particular D2, D2 only. I think, well, okay, when Honey Badger was first introduced, mm -hmm. they only did one blade material. HCR 13 MOV. Yeah. And Which they kept got, the budget really far down there. It was like 30 bucks, right? Far down there. Far yep. down there? Yep. Uh, 30 or 40, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. No higher than something like 42, I think it was. But 8CR 13 MOV. Then a year later or so, they introduced D2 as an option. The price yes. went up a little bit. But I think their popularity really, uh, really took went off up. Then. Yeah, it took off when they did the D2. Yep. But you still have 8CR 13 MOV and D2 as the option. Mm -hmm. So pretty cool. Mm -hmm. This exclusive represents a medium size. Yes. It represents a tanto blade. All right, there's this kind of a subtle tanto. Well, and this is showing a new option too, because that's what, I don't know. Some people didn't like the honeycomb pattern on the well, plastic. Now we have G10 smooth handles. Yeah, maybe a micro texture, but overall yeah. smooth, right? Because that's one thing I really like about Honey Badger is that they encourage you to take them apart and mod them if you want to, which I love to Frankenstein my knives. <laughs> Frankenstein, yeah. Yes. Yes. The tool is included mm -hmm. all in one Allen or uh, Torx. You've got T8 and T6 because in on, the box. On their website, they have new, they can, you can swap them out to black clips instead of the, you know, s stainless chrome steel yep. chrome finish. And then they do have smooth g10 scales and then different backspacers and then actually you can change out the pivot too yeah they've got everything so it makes it really kind of fun because you can customize it you took the backspacer off of this one and put the black backspacer on because it was all jade yeah so this is the jade jade and black finish you get from blade hq i went ahead and just put a black backspacer on there mm -hmm. yeah let me show that yeah that's all I'm going to do to this one. Well, and the thing that was funny is that you were over on there on the struggle bus putting that backspacer on. S in the struggle bus? What are you talking about? In the, in the same amount of time, I swapped out the scales and the pivot on in the back, uh, the clip. The clip, yeah. Yes. In the yeah. same amount of time you did the backspacer. She's saying she's way better at... Uh, well... I'm just saying, yes. She's Frankie small hands. That's what I'm going to credit you with. No, I was... I also got a picture of bearings. I wanted to confirm that this one was also on bearings. And it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what's so smooth about them, too. They have, like, this flickability, like, fondability fun factor that we always love. Uh, it's a flipper. And then, let's see if I can do it. You can do it. <coughs> <laughs> You're really uh, struggling Grunting. over Grunting. Yes. Okay, my hands You're, aren't as big as yours. Who's on the struggle bus now? Shut up. Try one of the small knives. Yeah, let me try a little one. Yeah, Plus, okay. you may have over-tightened the pivot. That's true. I could have. Yeah. Anyways, but this is, I, I swapped it out to the the smooth G10 scales. Yep. And doesn't that look really nice? I just need to get the um, black screws, too. Yeah, the hardware? Mm-hmm. Yep. Which, there's plenty of options. Yeah. It just made it fun. Well, okay. What are we talking, though, on this limited edition D2 Blade Medium Honey Badger? 
What's the price? $88. $88. Mm -hmm. This actually represents the most expensive Honey Badger option in existence yep. as we film this. And that's really not that expensive either. It's a really nice knife for $88. This is almost average price of a Civivi knife right now. That's or, you know, your Kaiser Vanguard series. Mm -hmm. And quality-wise, it's going to match those. Well, and what's neat about the Honey Badgers too, yes, they're right or left-hand carry. I like how they they bury the clip into underneath the scales too. Yes. Which is really nice because it makes for a nice deep carry I clip. I love this, yeah. And it hides it, which is great. And there's no, um, there's no step that mm -hmm. gets in the way when you go to pocket these. It's just that, I mean, we complain about it. It's just a, a, a nitpick. nitpick for sure, right? <laughs> yeah. But no, I love this style where the clip mm -hmm. comes around over the top and goes inside and gets secured um, it gets secured with hardware inside there. Yeah. Well, and it probably makes for a more dur not durable, but a more heavy use clip because it's in there. It's it's recessed. That's it's the word I was looking in, for. Recessed. Yeah. yeah. So it probably it won't loosen as much as other ones that are on top of the scale. Yep, I agree. Now this is the style that we like. Well, what else about this is unique? Okay, they are numbered. They are. What is our number? This is. 1092. Oh, that's a good number too. Yeah, that's a good 1092 one. 1092 is like my favorite time of day. There's the, really? <laughs> okay. Good stuff. No, there's the cutout, which makes for a nice flickability. That is more of a subtle tanto. Yeah, it is. Has a little swedge on the top too for some personality. Yeah. Does this have, because some of them have uh, jimping. This one does not. No, it does a little bit. Just a touch on the very top. Yeah. But yeah, the medium, I like the size of the medium. The large, of course, not what she said, is too big for my hands. Yeah. Let me see that in my hands. The large is very large. I think the medium is a happy medium between the two of us. Yeah. As it should be. This, uh, check out the large. Let's, let's set them on the table, too. Oh, you're checking was, sharpness here. I was just cutting. Get a good one, Frankie. I was cutting earlier, and you weren't filming it. We've both used this blade. I was gonna say, this has been used in the kitchen <laughs> for about a week. Yeah, it has this, been. this was on our kitchen counter for about a week. Well, and the Tanto I like, but it doesn't like. You know, you could always clean off the blade first too. Yeah. Because it's probably dirty <laughs> from us using okay. it. No, seriously, it try is it. sharp though, guys. Get a good me. one. Get a good one. Oh. We're gonna want to see now. Okay, fine. No, you just you just go. You strop on your shorts. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> okay, fine. I got it. Yes, anyway. no, it's nice and sharp. The D2 okay. holds its edge. What is the blade stock thickness, actually? Okay, I was going to check his weight, too. Yeah. Weight real quick, I'm guessing, I don't know, 3.5? 3.41. Okay, yep. Okay. What's that? Handle, handle thickness and blade stock. 0.51. Pretty much average. 0.13. Pretty much average. And so here, I'm gonna just see the difference between. So the baby badger, he is 2.57. Almost an ounce less. And then <laughs> an size. ounce. Almost. Yes. No. An ounce less. Almost. 3.89. Yeah. For the large. Yeah. All right. Good stuff. I don't know. I think this one looks really nice. You have kind of come around to the jade color. Well, especially jade and black. I think that's yes, a good combo. It looks really good. I wish it glue, glue in the dark. Glue, yeah. Glowed in the dark. What do you say? Is it glowed? I don't know. I'm just trying to think of... I wish uh, it would glow in the dark. I wish it would glow in the dark. <laughs> that's what I always see yeah. whenever I see G, Jade G10. Yeah. But the, yeah, that color combo looks nice. Did we show it? There's the back spacer. We might use this mm -hmm. for something else. I don't know. That would look good. Frankie already swapped this one out, the, the pink. Mm -hmm. but that would look good on one of these. Black. That looks good too, though. I don't know. There's endless. How fast can I do this? Is my question. Oh, don't start that. Seriously? Okay. I'm well, going to just see how fast. You kill time. Are you just doing the backspacer? No. Okay. What are you doing? Scales? We've got other scales up here, too. I'm going to switch it to this smooth green. Well, while she's talking, jumping in the flipper tab. Excellent detent on these knives, which has been consistent over the years. Okay, what was I gonna say? I mean, if you get a little bit of play, blade play, just adjust it very easy. 
Um, the quality overall has been amazing on these. What was I going to say to... Um, now I'm paying attention to what you're doing. Oh, access to the liner. Very nice on these. A little bit of grip there for a finger troil and then a little bit of jimping on the liner itself. Very comfortable, very usable. Just love them. Love them. That's why we have our fair share and they're keepers. I know. I don't know why we don't have one of the worn cleavers. Like, what the heck? We don't own one of those? I don't think we do. I thought we did. Maybe we don't. Okay. We wouldn't have given it away because uh, I would have wanted to keep it. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Of course, it's fun to take apart your knives in the park. What are you doing, though? You're going to swap the hardware? I was going to swap the scales real quick. I don't know, we're going on like 12 minutes even at this, something oh, like that. This is very slippery. Well, you have it off. Let me get a shot there, the bearings. Oh, yeah. Inside a little bearing race. Adds to that smoothness. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think she's going on something like three minutes. This is just... This is unacceptable. It's mainly the tool. It's not the easiest. It's you're what blaming, this you're blaming the tool? Yeah. The one sitting next to me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's not going to make the video. From these to those green smooth scales. I think it'll look good. I think it'll look good. It's just, well, you look good in your disassembly, reassembly time. Right. This is, this is pushing four minutes. A roughly four minutes. In the park with... Uh, Slippery tools. <laughs> we'll call them slippery tools, yeah. No, you don't have your proper Torx wrenches. You don't have a set of pliers. Uh -uh. Let me see. There you go. It's still a little tight. Try, uh... Yeah, try it again. As in, do the whole thing over, start over, start again. Then I'm gonna do it at home. This is at the park. Give me some street cred. Street cred? You're giving it wrist flick, though. No, well, that's pretty good. It looks cool, doesn't it? Centering is, we'll say close. Okay. It could probably go a little tighter. Um, no, that's good. We'll call that good. Okay. For the video, anyway. Yeah. Let me take a look at the backspacer. What'd you do? I just kept it. I did the whole swap green, green. backspacer. Okay. All right. From that to this, in the I, park, I like a it. single tool. We'll say over four minutes. That's just I it don't is know, super whatever. slippery. Anyway, I gotta say, this video was about this knife. We'll close it up. We'll put links in. You can only get them at Blade HQ. This particular variety, mm -hmm. and we love them. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. and it's fun to customize them. It is, it is. The, did we mention though the parts, all the customization parts and accessories? And you don't need them, but you're going to want them. Right, it's just fun to play with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, we'll call that good. Toys are fun to play with. Are they going to do small and large on this one? That I would be know. cool if they did. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mind to have a small version of that one. Yeah. Because I do like the small, but. Yeah. All right. Good yeah. stuff. Good stuff from Honey Badger. Oh. You get a pouch, you get a little information card, and a sticker. Yes. Because Honey Badger don't care. No, they don't. I love that video. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Give us a thumbs up if you made it this far. Make sure to subscribe, and we'll call that good, Frankie. Thanks for, right. um, thanks for showing us how it's done. Thanks. All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot for joining us.